New at 10, a rude awakening for dozens of women at a UC Berkeley sorority house. A university employee crashed a truck into the house, forcing an evacuation that still has those women out tonight. KTVU's Amber Lee is live at the scene to tell us what happened and where those students are staying. Amber? Frank, we're on Prospect behind Cal's football stadium. This is where we can see the damage to the side of the building. A school official tells me dozens of students have been displaced by the early morning crash. The Alpha Phi sorority house is under an evacuation order by the city of Berkeley. Safety inspectors have put up a notice. Students and others who live here are only permitted to enter to retrieve their belongings. Berkeley police tell me damage to the building was caused by a UC Berkeley employee who crashed a campus vehicle into the side of the house early Thursday morning. Pretty crazy in my opinion that a truck ran over um, the curb and then goes into the building at 5 a.m. in the morning. I spoke with a man who identified himself as the facilities manager at the house. He declined to answer questions. Building inspectors say there is structural damage to a bedroom and a second floor bathroom. There is also damage to the electrical and steam heating systems for the entire building. It's kind of like a catastrophic incident that's like ch changing a lot of people. A UC Berkeley spokesman tells me 62 students were displaced and that the school is offering housing, dining and counseling. We found displaced students at the nearby graduate hotel who say they are not allowed to talk to us. One parent who asked to remain anonymous tells me his daughter and her roommate were awoken by the crash and narrowly missed being injured. If you're sleeping in uh, a vehicle uh, runs into your house or a place you stay, you know, it's quite jarring and, and traumatic. The city spokesman says the building's overall structural system was not impacted by the crash. Police say no one was injured, including the driver, a man in his 60s. Essentially, it lost control of his vehicle, perhaps had some type of medical emergency. He was evaluated by medical staff, and he was alert and aware, and we were able to talk to him. Alcohol and drugs are not suspected. Safety inspectors say repairs to the heating and electrical systems are underway. The plumbing repairs are expected to be completed by Friday. These students from a nearby fraternity came to invite students from Alpha Phi to attend a party Friday and hope to deliver wristbands. Everyone's out, so I don't know who to deliver these to. Building inspectors are scheduled to meet here at noon Friday with the property manager and contractors to inspect the repairs before allowing students back into the house. But additional structural repairs are needed for the damaged bedroom and bathroom. They will be off limits until further notice. Frank. All right, Amber Lee, live on the Cal campus. Amber, thank you for that.